Microsoft General Manager of the Hosting Business. Thanks for joining me again, John. My pleasure. Good to see you at the Tier 1 Summit in Las Vegas. Yes. You did a um, keynote this morning. Yes, I did. Why don't we start off by just touching upon some of the stuff you, you touched upon in your keynote. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, this keynote, this is my second keynote mm -hmm. here. I was here last year. And this year, I started by acknowledging the changes that happened over the last mm -hmm. year and how that's impacted the hosting business. Uh, we're seeing growth in managed services and what we're doing to enable that growth and also customers really wanting to move from CapEx intensive investments, so IT infrastructure, to using hosters to be able to provide those IT services. Right, great. So tell me specifically with Microsoft, the last time I spoke with you at uh, the Microsoft Hosting Summit, uh, you guys had announced the Dynamic Data Center Toolkit. Yes. Now, why don't you tell me uh, how, how effective that's been for you and you know, if you have any examples of, of you know, some people actually using it and how sure. effective it's been for them. Yeah, abso absolutely. Sure. So the Dynamic Data Center Toolkit mm -hmm. is a, a toolkit that enables hosters to provide managed services based on Windows Server 2008, uh, uh, R2, SQL Server 2008, and um, System Center. Uh, when we announced that in April, we had uh, Maximum ASP and Applied Innovations that had, had launched with the toolkit. Since then, nine other hosters have launched, including Pound Host in the, U in the UK, for example. And we have a pipeline of another 50 that plan on launching over the, the next six, six to nine months. So there's been uh, a lot of traction. As a matter of fact, I was in Korea uh, uh, a few weeks ago and there was a hoster that took our toolkit without telling us about it and actually launched an offer there and did some very cool uh, uh, functionality using Servolite. So it's getting a lot of traction. Amazing. Korea, what was that like? <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, I've never been. One yeah. day, hopefully. So you guys offer, I mean, aside from the dynamic data center toolkit, you've got Hyper-V, you've got all of these offerings. Now, what makes it more attractive for hosters to choose Microsoft to get all of their services rather than go to different companies for separate services uh, other than the convenience of it. So, so remember, Microsoft is in a unique position that we actually spend quite a bit of time thinking about the workloads in the web. What are customers doing on the web mm -hmm. and how we can improve our products or design our products to enable those scenarios. So when a hoster is coming to us, we're not just giving them a product and saying, here's Windows, have a good day. Sure. We're, saying, <laughs> we're you know, please sell more. Right. Uh, we're telling them, we're saying, look, we know that customers have more complex needs. They want managed services. They want higher SLAs. Here's how you can enable that with our products. So they're getting not only products from us, mm -hmm. but uh, marketing information, uh, marketing data, uh, information on how to combine those products and how to take them to, to market. So it is a true partnership mm -hmm. more than just a vendor relationship. So, uh, and a lot of other companies are kind of following that um, mold now, uh, offering partnerships kind of. Do you think Microsoft has kind of an historical advantage because you have been doing it for so long? So, yes I do, <laughs> at least now, and yeah. it's, uh, it's always a compliment to see when others are trying to mm -hmm. copy you, and I've heard other companies, for example, are now implementing a SPLA type licensing model mm -hmm. similar to what we have. Of course, we have the advantage that we've been doing this for a longer time. Uh, of course, our job is to make sure we keep developing on those relationships and those offerings and not just be satisfied as to where we are now. So we keep that advantage. Yeah, and uh, do you think this is part of the reason uh, why people would choose Microsoft over any other option? What do you guys have to do to make hosters choose you? Well, so th there's two parts to that. Uh, one is we acknowledge the change in business model, which is really about a pay-as-you-go model. Mm -hmm. And we took a lot of time to understand and then develop it. So there is that advantage. When you say choose Microsoft, I think of it as choose Microsoft as the go-to-market partner, the partner to work with. Remember, our products actually are designed to enable interoperability and federation. Mm -hmm. So even if you are a person who loves using PHP or has expertise on uh, other operating systems, with Windows and Hyper-V, you can incorporate those into your offering mm -hmm. and be able to scale your business 
without having to make a wholesale shift. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to touch on today. You've done a great job. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us again. And uh, by the way, you look great. I've noticed you lost some weight. <laughs> oh, thank well you very done. Much. Yeah. Oh, well, it was it was time. Doctor told me I was getting older. And no way, really. <laughs> oh God. And uh, said it was time to look better, or otherwise. Uh, um, pay the price. Yeah, pay the price. <laughs> and, uh, it's good. And yeah. I'm in Vegas, so we'll have some fun tonight. Yeah, really. I throw caution to the wind in Vegas. Yeah, That's well, what everybody else You know what they does. say. What's that? What's, what happens here stays here. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, you better live too. up to that tonight. Yeah, if I run into. I promise. Okay, cool, John. Well, thanks so much again. Lovely to My see pleasure. you. Have a good time. Enjoy Vegas. Okay, I will.